Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Zara. Make sure you subscribe. And if you've been around for a minute, make sure the notifications are switched on. So today I'm going to show you how I stretch my hair using a diffuser. I've just come out of the shower. My hair is still soaking wet, as you can see the beads of water all over it. It's in sections. I always work with my hair in sections. So I am gonna do though, is just twist these ones up out of the way so that it's a bit clearer for you. And I think it'd be really interesting to show you the difference in my hair shrinkage. Even though I've got a teeny bit of damage in this quadrant, um, you can still see that they're pretty level in terms of shrinkage and you'll see how much of a stretch I can get. So I'm gonna work this first section. Shout out to Cantu's deep treatment mask because that really defines my hair. Now I'm gonna split it up some more. I'm not naked, okay, YouTube, and keep this video up. And go straight in with Cantu's Moisturising Curl Activator Cream. So yes, I'm basically doing a wash and go or curl defining style, wash and wear style, whatever you want to call it. I take the tiniest amount, spread it through my hands. Grab and smooth, honey, grab and smooth. I like to layer my hair because I feel like that's the first process to helping it stretch and weigh down. So I'm gonna first go in with Eco Styler, black, ha black castor and black seed oil gel. I have a retainer in, sorry guys. So like that. Then I like to go in with Crown Pride Naturals Curl Control Styling Puree. I don't have much of this left. And I haven't been able to find it. It's been sold out. I hope to hell it's not discontinued because it's so bloody good. Do you see the layers have encouraged it to pull down and hang down? Do you remember how much I hated this? <laughs> this is the only thing that's actually got a diffuser and funnily enough it's broken both the diffuser and the hairdryer so I could do with a new one but you really want to invest in a good hairdryer that's got different speeds and different heat settings. We're gonna use it on low heat, low to medium heat, high speed. I really think it's the speed that makes a difference here and you don't wanna use high heat because we're not trying to uh, straighten the hair as per the tension method. So what I like to do is hold it so that there's some coil at the bottom but I am holding it relatively taut, you know, I'm not fully stretching it down, but I'm holding it relatively taut. And then I'll place the diffuser here. I'll hold it there for 10, 15 seconds, let go. Then do it again, 10, 15 seconds, let go. Do it again, 10, 15 seconds. Here we go. This is the first, I haven't even really fully stretched it. I'm actually gonna go back in, um, but you can already see where this is and where this is. That is versus where that is. And my hair is simply clipped here. It's not like twisted up into a bun or anything. So you can see the stretch. And you will have seen I was holding my ends against the diffuser dish and that just shows again how this is not high heat or very hot at all because I can hold my hand right against it. But I do that so that the ends get dry, but again, they stay hanging down and stretched out. If I was to go like this and pile it all up in there, it's pushing my hair up and scrunching it up. I only like to do that with the damaged pieces around here that are obviously way too straight and need to encourage that curl. I've got plenty of curl, so that's why I hold it dead straight against it. So you can see basically all of my coils are intact. You get a little bit of frizz, but who cares, mate? Who cares? So let's just work on this section now. So, look how tiny that looks compared to this now. 
Cantu's Curl Activating Cream. Might have added a bit too much for this. Generous amount of Eco Styler Gel. Need a bit more than that. Always doing the prayer hands method. All of this is just downward motions encouraging my hair to stay stretched and hang down, as well as evenly distributing the product between all of my tightly coiled strands. Eco Styler Gel is more of like my holding gel, and then this gel is more of like my moisturising gel, it makes it slightly more defined. So we're going in with the diffuser, high heat, low to medium speed, holding it at a medium tension, leaving some coils at the bottom, focusing at the roots to begin with, 10 to 15 seconds, let go, and again, let go, and again, let go. Once I'm satisfied with the section, take the ends and hold it straight against the diffuser dish to ensure that the ends of my coils are nice and dry as well. So I'm back, I really hope I'm in focus at the moment because I've had to step quite a way away from my camera because you know the hair, <laughs> yes. So I fully stretched out my hair and I thought that I would answer a couple of questions that might arise around me using this technique or method. So the first one is, why do I diffuse my hair in sections in the first place? Like why don't I just apply all of my products, leave in conditioner, gel, and then go back in and stretch the roots. Very valid point, and I've done it that way actually. If you check out my wash and go for damaged hair, my most recent one, I did it that way and I found that I didn't get the most optimal stretch doing it that way. If I was to apply all of my products and then try and go back in, even, even worse if I was to apply my products and let it dry and then try and stretch my, my roots out, I find I get a lot more frizz, so I lose the definition. And it's a lot harder for me to try and tug at the hair once it's already set in its position. Um, so yeah, I don't get the best stretch. And the reason why I stretch out my hair is so that my wash and goes last longer and so that I can minimize tangles, tangles minimizing breakage. Because if my hair shrinks up, especially as it's very tightly coiled, um, the coils are gonna intertwine with each other as they're shrinking up, and it's just gonna be harder to work through, more manipulation, more likely to have breakage. So I want to get the best stretch possible, and that's how I do it, by working in sections. Why do I hold my hair, let it go, hold it, let it go, etc., etc.? Why don't I just focus on the one piece and keep it pushing, and also why do I even use a diffuser as opposed to a concentration nozzle? And both of those are basically because I want to encourage a kind of curl memory. I do not want to get the tension method. I want to elongate my coils, but I really want to maintain that spiral look to them. I'm not trying to get it to that kind of wavy or even straight kind of uh, look that happens when I do the tension method and that happens when I use a concentration nozzle. That's why I prefer to use a diffuser and that's why I will hold it semi-taut and then let it spring back so it encourages the curls to stay more defined, more uniform. Just out of preference, I just like that look. But of course you can use a concentration nozzle. Also diffusers are made for curly hair um, the airflow is a lot more controlled and streamlined and spread out so that it minimizes frizz as opposed to blowing your coils all over the place that tends to happen when using a concentration nozzle. Why not use a heatless method like the banding method? I don't like it. <laughs> That's my only reason. Whenever I try and do banding methods, I even tried it the other day because I was like, let me just see now that my hair's a bit longer and it still didn't work. It just comes out all wonky, you know, 
higgedy and all of that and I just I'm not into it and it's less of a wash and go and more of a stretched out style so I may as well do like a braid out or something like that maybe because my hair isn't super super thick for that method if you've made it this far you may as well subscribe thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you on the next video bye